Okay, this is going to be the demonstration for the Ren Cuff Pickle Pie V bass distortion pedal. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a few of the sounds that uh, you know are the most popular on this pedal and give you some of the you know a sense of what this pedal can do. It's a pedal that I designed specifically for the bass guitar. Spent a lot of time on it. Uh, the goal being to try and find uh, different sounds and a very useful pedal that is made specifically for the bass guitar. I felt that there was a lot of pedals that you know sort of the bass was an afterthought. You know like uh, you know you could use them for bass, but they weren't designed for bass. And even some of the uh, pedals that were designed specifically for bass, you know, particularly the the cheaper big manufacturer ones. I felt were, were really lacking. You know, I started off as a bass player before I was a guitarist, and I tried out so many different distortions, I finally gave up. I couldn't find the uh, the bass sound that I was sort of hearing in my head. And then uh, years later, you know, I, I wanted to give this a try because I kept hearing a lot of pedals that were almost there. Um, I went ahead and put a clean blend on the side of this so you can run your fuzzed out signal in parallel with your clean signal. Um, I'm going to bang through some of these settings. We're starting off with the saturation on, on 10, which is also the distortion. Um, tone knob is going to be right about in the middle. Um, I'm just playing a PJ bass here. Mostly what you're hearing is the splits. I put a little bit of the bridge, just blend it in there for a nice neutral sound. Um, Give me my clean sound right now. You can go on uh, the Ren and Cuff website, renandcuff.com, and you can hear real like studio recordings of this stuff. Because um, I know that the uh, microphone and the camera can be lacking a little bit sometimes. But anyways, there's the, uh, the clean sound. And here's the distorted sound. I'm just going to run through some sounds from low to high and give you a sense of what it sounds like. those bass chords when I hit those low notes. It's a nice rich push from the low end but everything doesn't crap out on you. Um, one thing that's done with a lot of pedals is somebody wants to make it for the bass guitar modify it to make it for a bass guitar they just raise the input cap, cap value. What that does that lets in more low frequencies um, and then they think okay here now I have a bass distortion. Well there's more to it than that. That will work. That will let those frequencies through but what your pedal does with those frequencies is a whole whole different deal and that's sort of the problem that I tried to tackle with this pedal. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit more. I'm going to bring a little bit of the clean in. The sample that you just heard didn't have any clean. I'm going to give you some of that. Now you're going to hear how that, that low end's really stable. big change from the sound that I just played before. That's because I like to have that clean blend come in nice and subtle. Um, another complaint that I had about a lot of uh, pedals that I had tried, especially when I was uh, first a bass player, was when I would find the rare pedal that there was a clean blend on, it would sound like the fuzz was just this sort of buzzy gnat that was sitting on top of the clean signal. They sounded like almost like two things that didn't have anything to do with each other. So I really made every attempt possible to you know, have the active clean blend in a way that it meshes with that distortion sound in a way that sounds really organic. Um, this word's kind of overused nowadays, but you know, transparent is the goal that uh, we're going for here. Meaning, you know, when you kick on this pedal, something happens. There's some space that's filled up, but you don't lose anything. And you know, this is just—I use the clean blend sparingly. This is just a little bit of it in there. I want to let you hear that again.
come up here and um, give you some of those more, um, you know, I have a lot of emails from people that want to kind of cop that Muse sound. Um, so I'm going to do, I don't know any Muse songs off the top of my head, but I'm just going to do a sort of little riffing around that reminds me of uh, some of those parts. <laughs> idea that's what it's like when you go higher up on the neck and again the low end I just I love that it puts a puts a smile on my face because you still get that thundering low end and you still have that, that uh, thick distortion there and it's you don't have to trade one for the other um, I'm gonna go ahead and just give the shape knob a little tweak maybe go a little treblier it's treblier a word. still got a good amount of that clean in there just for the heck of it, I'm going to go and I'm going to play a, uh, a uh, bass riff that I'm sure most bass players will be very familiar with. Certainly any that uh, lean towards the uh, metal ed end of things. It's kind of a bass classic. If don't have a wah pedal, I'll give you a hint of uh, what's about to go. <laughs> different sounds you know with this I'm not it's not exactly like his setup it's not exactly like the Muse guys setup but that's not the point of it um, no pedal in the world is gonna make you sound like either of those guys but what I hope you can get from this pedal is definitely get elements of it and get close to those sounds and you know come up with your own sounds which is uh, 